church so good to see your faces again
of pleasing people, see before oh yeah, oh yeah, or because of the love for the person in need. If we have necessity to love others, but we don't do it, we just say it, then we are big liars. Amen. I find out the title of the lie. I like for you, we man be fatty no I left for you. Or the upula back to spy up, what's up, pillow in the title. Remember, or the epaco share the upola to all the fat now, or the two are up. Yeah. How can we say, how can we say we love God and we do not show compassion to your brother or your sister? We see every day. Amen. 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 Compa compassion is a feeling of pity <coughs> and concern for the sufferings and misfortune of <coughs> others. What's mine is yours. Amen. Amen. And I'm going to show it. Show it. Show the love. Amen. 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 Dear children, I'm almost done. Let us not love with words or speech, but with a action and in truth. Amen. Amen. This is a great reminder for us Christians, <coughs> especially we are living in end times. We need to prepare ourselves and also be mindful of others, as that is what compassion is all about. Amen. 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 Therefore, as chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe ourselves with compassion, with kindness, with humility, greatness, and patience. Amen. Put it on your prayer list. 
family members from Samoa calling you that there's a disaster in Samoa or breaking news that the disaster of tsunami was happening, put it on your prayer. <coughs> Can you say amen? amen? Number two, action. Reaching out is the first step in the word action. What can I do? What can we do to help? Reaching out to that mother and ask, what can I do, sis, to help you? She'll let you know. Or she'll say, uh, maybe it's time. Or the other example, the tsunami. As a church or departments, we should ask ourselves, what can we do together to plan, to meet, to discuss, and network with other churches in the Pulena to see what they're doing to see how we can make the uh, difference in helping out this world disaster. If you don't take action, there is no connection. <coughs> can you say amen? amen? The last word is availability. Make yourself available to go and execute and complete these tasks. For the single mom, just buying simple groceries, blessing her financially, and blessing uh, your time with a word of encouragement, uh, a word of encouragement or a big hug, it can make a difference. And the same thing with the world disaster. You can do these things by collecting whatever items and and doing action and completing these tasks. The Bible has so many verses that describe compassion and so many words that go along with compassion. Words like love and kindness and all the fruits of the spirit. But the verse I'm choosing tonight is 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3 and 4. It says, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. So that last part of the verse is a game changer. God was there in our time of trouble because he saw you through and he answered your prayers. You too can practice and show that word, compassion. Amen? Amen. Amen. But to not have compassion or the opposite of compassion are these words as follows. And they're just a few words. Indifference. Nemanatu fapito. Callousness. Lotobale. Heartlessness. Cruelty, the loto sawa. Hatred, ino ino. Hard hearted, loto ma. Words no one wants to be associated with. But I tell you, the best example of the word compassion is an example of a father. A father who saw eternal death upon his children. Sin that came in between him and his children and broke that relationship between God and man. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son and whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Who are we? That he would make this huge sacrifice. But put simply, it was God who saw the suffering, he saw the pain, and he saw the death of his children and fulfilled his word, compassion, to reach out and save us all. In Jesus' name, amen.
Yes, I want to know. 
In Matthew 22, verse 36, it says, one of his disciples asked Jesus, Teacher, they're testing him. Which is the greatest commandment in the law? And Jesus answered him. It, this is in Matthew 22, verse 37. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. Compassion is not just an attribute of God, but it is also a quality of his people. That's us. Yeah. We have that. 1 John 3, verse 17, it says, If anyone has material possessions and sees a brother or sister in need but has no pity on them, how can the love of God be seen in that person? Amen. This means that the love is not in words or in speech. It is displayed, it is action, and it is true. To see us said that. He says that love is active, not just felt or thought or spoken. It is shown. When others keep their distance from those who are in suffering, and this does happen, godly compassion should prompt us to act on the behalf of the hurting brother or sister. When we see people who are poor, not having the basic necessities, we are called to show compassion. Reach out to them. Let them know that you are there if they need help. Say something kind, or just smile at them. Give them a hug. If they need a place to stay, like I said in the beginning, let them stay at your house. Offer them a meal. Think of all the compassion that God has shown us. To us. We can show compassion to those around us by praying for a heart of understanding <coughs> that reaches out to those in need. Oleana Lofa, Oseloto, Mala Malama, Ea Apa Tuai, Ise Tasi, Olofa, Ea, Onafia Mawa, Ea, So to end this, I want to share Peter, 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 8. Be, be like-minded. Be sympathetic. Love one another. Be compassionate and humble. Amen? Amen. Ole una lene i aloto natasi oto uma. Ya te alofani. Ya alofa i le auso. Ya muti muti vale ili alofa ya ana lele. Ya tato tala tala iatule tala iatule ana alofa mole ni tau sana tau sana folk ya tato ili tato sahalima manatua to tere tato to tere tato wo po inisyo aina kia mawe na to le le ana alofa. I matter more fear than more than so. Yeah, it's our turn. Yeah, and swap for your soup. Amen. Amen.
Mika, can you dim the lights, please? Thank you. 
pray. Father, we pray for your continued anointing upon them, Lord. Mm -hmm. Father, we pray that you bless their lives, Lord God. Mm -hmm. and Father, we pray that you bless the ministry that they, they are in, Lord God. Fill them, Lord God. And when they go back home, Father, we pray for your traveling mercies upon them, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We appreciate them, Lord God. And we thank you, Lord, for placing them where you have placed them, Lord God. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for all the sisters that have shared your word tonight, Lord God. I pray, Father, that you continue to bless them, Lord. I pray that you use them, Father, in a mighty way, Lord God, in ways that you've never used them before, Lord God. I thank you, Lord. I pray that you fill everyone in this church, Lord, with your Holy Spirit, Lord God. And I pray for your anointing upon all of them. We pray for our Kulina leaders, Lord God. Father, we pray. Bless them, Lord God. Help them, Father, to, to just direct and do the work that you have called them out to do, Lord God. We thank you, Father. We thank you for tonight. We thank you for all your people that are here tonight. And we thank you for those that are watching over the internet, Lord God. We give you all the glory and the praises. And Father, if there is anything that I have forgotten to, to mention that you will bring us blessings, Father, you go ahead and you bless us because you always do, Lord God. We thank you, Lord. And Father, we just pray that you forgive us, Lord God, for anything that we have said that we shouldn't have said, Lord God. Yes. So be with us tonight. Watch over us as we go home, Lord God. Traveling mercies on everyone here tonight, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody say, Amen. Amen. Continue to pray. Thank you for all of you that have made it tonight. Uh, tomorrow is another night in this whole week. And for my we are to let to a to Matanatina. And this is another night to us have a soul and me as young people. I tell you that it will put my house. Some of you are, are, are sitting with some great things and nuggets that we need for 2023. So thank you for all the women that shared and all of you that will share throughout this week. Uh, God bless you. Let's go and uh, have some refreshments in the back. Thank you for the women's ministry for providing refreshments. Thank you, worship team. Yeah, even swap for you soon. Yeah, it's got to, uh, so I must see those out, you might wake up, go, okay.